It is one of the most common knee injuries doctors see, and it typically cannot heal on its own. I'm talking about a painful ACL tear. The ACL or anterior cruciate ligament is a band of tissue that runs diagonally through the center of the knee and helps keep the knee stable. Now, instead of complicated reconstructive surgery, a new minimally invasive method allows the body to heal the ACL on its own. We're taking an in-depth look at how Scripps Clinic became the first in the county to perform this surgery. And Dr. Tim Wang is the orthopedic surgeon who did that groundbreaking procedure using an implant called BEAR, which stands for Bridge Enhanced ACL Restoration. Welcome, doctor. Hi, good morning, Virginia. Good to see you. So how does it work? So we're really excited about this product. It's called the Bear uh, uh, Implant or the Bridge Enhanced ACL Restoration uh, Implant. And for the first time, uh, it allows us to uh, reliably restore and heal the patient's own uh, natural and native ACL after a tear occurs, instead of what we're currently doing, which is the standard of care uh, of an ACL uh, reconstruction or a rebuilding of an ACL with uh, either uh, um, borrowed tissue from somewhere else in the knee or a cadaver donor tissue. And what is this bridge made of? So the bridge, it looks like a small marshmallow. It's a, uh, derived from animal collagen, which we use to wrap around the uh, ACL repair site like you have here on your, uh, your diagram. And it serves as a bridge uh, for the ACL to heal uh, itself uh, after a tear occurs. What is the healing time for this method compared to the way it's been done for years? Yeah, so that's a great question. And we're still learning and performing research on the overall healing time. Uh, what we do know about the standard ACL reconstruction is that uh, it does require a second incision to uh, harvest tissue and borrow tissue that we use to rebuild the ACL. Uh, so that causes some weakness uh, right uh, at the time of the procedure. Uh, in addition, that tissue has to remodel and turn into a new ACL. With this procedure, we're hoping that uh, by not having to make a second incision and borrow tissue, uh, extra tissue, the patients right away are a lot stronger and can engage and participate in their rehab and recovery uh, a lot more expeditiously. Yeah, that minimally invasive part of it is really, really intriguing. Are certain patients better candidates than others? Yeah, that's a great question. So this uh, product and procedure is designed for adult patients. So uh, patients over the age of 14 years old are eligible. Uh, they have to have a confirmed full ACL tear on the MRI scan. And ideally the tear occurs at the upper or proximal or middle portion of the ACL so that we're actually able to technically place sutures within the ACL tissue. The tissue has to be strong enough to hold the stitches for us to repair it. Now, it helps, of course, if we're at least somewhat careful, but who would you say is at highest risk for tearing an ACL? Uh, great question. So uh, ACL tears typically occur uh, with athletic activity. The ACL or anterior cruciate ligament is a very structural uh, ligament important for providing stability of the knee, uh, particularly with cutting, pivoting, twisting activities that we do in sports such as uh, basketball, soccer, and football and in particular now as kids are going back to school and fall sports are happening again uh, you know following the COVID pandemic um, you know we really want our athletes and our youth athletes in particular to be careful uh, about uh, injury. Yeah I, 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 just very quickly are there ever times when someone would not need surgery for a torn ACL? Yeah um, the good news about the ACL is that it's actually not required for regular day-to-day -day activities such as walking, going up and down stairs, as well as cycling. Uh, however, for patients that are engaged in uh, more rigorous athletic activities such as those sports that we talked about, uh, they may have a sense of instability uh, when returning to those sports and the ACL would be very important for them uh, to be able to get back to those activities that they really, in uh, that they really love doing. Dr. Tim Wang, orthopedic surgeon with Scripps Clinic, thank you so much for this fascinating look at this new procedure. Uh, thanks so much. Pleasure being here. Thank you.